The next step is to mount the Y end switch. That's the one with the 800 mm long cable. What you'll need is the end switch, two M2 by 16 screws, and two M2 normal nuts. To mount it, we'll take the end switch. The end switch will be mounted here onto the big frame with the, the end of the lever to the right hand side. So we'll insert the two screws. We can add the, the two nuts. And then we'll slide it in from the back into the position provided and then we can tighten the screws. When you've done that the assembly should look like this and when you slide the Y carriage forward at some point it should switch the, the end switch. Now we can read the cable it will go through the, the slot provided there and we can rotate it around the threaded rod to the back. Once you've routed the cable it should look like that and you can take it through that slot provided next to the Z motor. In the next step we'll assemble the X carriage and the Z carriage to the big frame. What we'll need for that is the, the Z carriage, the component that looks like this, the two pieces of black tubing, 4 M3 by 16 screws and 4 M3 standard nuts. First we'll take the pieces of black tubing and we'll put them onto the, the shafts of the Z stepper motors. You can push them on about halfway. Once you've done that, we will insert the Z carriage onto the big frame. How we'll do that is the linear rods will go into the two small holes next, next to the Z motors. You might find that the Z carriage is too short and the linear rod cannot go into the hole. So then we'll need to undo the screws a little bit that is clamping the linear rods of the X axis so that it can move a bit wider apart. Once the Z linear rods fits into the holes you can place the threaded rods on top of the black tubing and push it into the black tubing. Once the threaded rods are pushed down completely until the threaded rod touches the, the shaft of the Z motors then they, they are secured now we can take this component and mount it from the top. It gets fastened with the, with the four uh, M3x16 screws. So once you've tightened the top screw, the assembly should look like this. Now at this stage the Z rods has been aligned so we can tighten the screws that clamps the Z linear rods. We can tighten them again. Now that we have tightened the, these screws on the, on the X axis, what we can, can do now is tighten the, the X axis belt. How we do that is we undo the screws that holds the motor. We pull the motor to the left and while we are pulling the motor to the left we tighten these screws again. Once we have tightened the belt and the x-axis can move freely we, we move the belt pulley up and down until the belt clears all the components on the inside and then we can tighten the grub screws of the, of the pulley. 